I'm Ken Knapsack, and welcome to Motivations with Ken, your source for inspirations, motivations, and advice to not quite get you through the week. And it's time for some more Friday advice. This is where you reach out to me using the hashtag Motivations with Ken. And you ask me a question, a call for advice, and I give you the guidance that will get you through life itself. That's right, very existence. And all you have to do is watch this video and occasionally yell at me in the comment section. Sounds like a pretty fair deal. Today's question comes to us from Mr. Serg88. That's right, we have Bond villains watching us. I feel pretty good about that. He writes, Ken, our office has lost power for a whole Friday and I volunteered to do some essential work at 6.30 a.m. on a Saturday so our calculations could work through the weekend after the power was fixed. And when I asked to count this time at Saturday to my work time, they told me that is not possible. Did I do the wrong thing? Question mark. Well, Mr. Serg, we've covered this in other versions of Motivations with Ken when it was on Instagram TV, so let's cover it here now on YouTube. Oh yes, you did the wrong thing. You fell for one of the oldest tricks in the book trying too hard. Look, Mr. Serg, don't feel bad. We all try too hard. Sometimes it's at the office, it's in your career in general, it's in your relationships, it's uh, uh, at dinner with your grandparents. Sometimes we all give in to that urge to try too hard because I think at the end of the day we all are good people, except for like five of you watching right now and you know what you did. Here's the thing about trying too hard. It only hurts you. You trying hard for other people, especially your job, your bosses, the corporations you work for, it helps them. What we've learned before here on Motivations with Ken is you don't need to try too hard. You just need to try just enough. Just enough will get you just as far as trying too hard. Now, in your particular case, if you didn't go in on Saturday, the company would have had to find another way to survive. And you would have been home having a pina colada at 10 a.m., watching someone else mowing your lawn because they're trying too hard. Ah, that's the life. All right, Mr. Serg, I hope I helped you, and good luck getting Mr. James Bond. We'll see you guys next time here on Motivations with Ken.